India is an adventurous paradise. You head out for a holiday, which quickly turns into a survival situation. A dream turns into a nightmare. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm hungry and I'm lost. Shelter, water and food become a priority. A fire to keep you warm. But how? I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks to use in a self-reliant situation. Do not think problems can only happen to other people. It can happen to you. Navigating is an art that you need to know. Today we live in a very electronic age. So chances are you're carrying a GPS, um, GPS which is a handheld GPS or it could be on your watch. Uh, you have a couple of compasses. But on a multi-day trek, you might suddenly find that you need to navigate. You take your GPS out and you find that your batteries have run out and you're not carrying spare batteries. Or the compass that you're carrying, you've either dropped it somewhere or it's broken because you stomped on it, or it's just not working for some reason. And it can happen. So you need to figure out how to navigate. And what you need to know, therefore, is the art of survival navigation. I'll show you one way with which you can tell pretty much, uh, pretty accurately, actually, which side is northeast, west, and south. And once you know that, you would know which in which direction to head out. And you know what to use for that, for this survival navigating trick? What you can use is a simple old thing, like a razor blade. And I'll show you how to use that. So what I have here is a razor blade. And what I have down there is my mess tin. What I've done in the mess tin is filled it up with about an inch and a half of water. You don't need so much, you just need enough. About half an inch should do it. I've got about an inch and a half. What we'll do is, we'll take this razor blade and float it on the surface of the water. And it'll rotate. And when it finally stops, it'll stop in the east-west axis. You want to take a look? Let's do that. Be a little careful when you're putting it. You don't want it to sink. You want it to float on the surface. You just gently put it on the surface of the water, like so. As you can see, it's rotating. And when it comes to a stop, it'll point along the east-west axis. It's come to a stop. And if I take my compass and put it alongside it, this is the east-west line on the compass. This is the east-west line on the floating razor blade. Could be a fluke, right? Let's pick it up, flip it around, and try it again. So pick it up, let's take the other side, and, right, let's put it like that. And again, gently, place it on the surface of the water. It's rotating. And when it comes to a stop, it'll point in the east-west line once again. It stopped. I'll put my compass once again. As you can see, they're parallel to each other. Now, even if you don't have a compass, you don't have a GPS, batteries have run out, you've lost your compass, this is a quick and easy way, if you're carrying a razor blade, of course, by which you can tell your east-west line. And if you know which one is your east-west line, you know which one is your north-south line, and you know pretty much your directions. That's survival navigation, and that's a trick that you can use when you find yourself lost in the wilderness without any other navigating device. And remember, it can happen to you. Learn to adapt, improvise, innovate and overcome. To learn more tips and tricks, visit this site. I'm Chandan Lahiri and I hope to see you soon at the OTS Survival School. Leave nothing but footprints, bring back nothing but memories.